solid, solid opponent all the way around. You know, they can really pitch, and you know, offensively they have a lot of action on the base pass. Got some power. Uh, it's going to be a great challenge for us, but uh, yeah, we're excited. Darren, we know your approach. Every game's the same, so we bought. Might as well not bother asking you about the significance of the series, right? Exactly. You got it. So, hey, you know, you, we start putting more pressure on one game or more significance on it. You know, you just, you're going to bring in different emotions, different things that, you know, now all of a sudden another game you're going to get, uh, you know, maybe not the same type of focus. So we're going to approach every game exactly the same. We know we have to take care of our business, prepare the right way, and, and go out there and, and do what we're capable, capable of doing. And that's, it doesn't get much deeper than that. But they're pretty good. Yeah, I mean, you just when you play, we've played teams like this already this season that if you make mistakes, they're going to take advantage of them. And you have to be able to execute your pitches. We're going to have to win a lot of counts uh, before we get to two strikes as hitters. You know, there's just things that you have to be able to do when you face quality teams. And, and it's it's a matter of still doing the same thing, just knowing that, you know, you're just going to have to play a lot lot more mistake-free. This little run you guys have been on, can you identify anything that's, that's changed, or has it just been kind of the results are, are starting to follow you? Well, we're finding ways to win. You know, we we played really well defensively for a while there. Pitched well, uh, opportune hitting, I guess you could say. Uh, Haven't by any means, you know, cr crushed the ball on a consistent basis. But um, you know, for us, we just we have to take care of the baseball and limit the free passes, which we've been doing a pretty darn good job of. And, and you know, offensively, we just got to continue to battle up and down the lineup. When we do that, we've had success. Mike says you guys played well early in the season. You just didn't see the results. Do you kind of agree with that? That somehow, some way, things kind of changed where you, it started to show in the record? Well, I think early on, you know, we we made mistakes against good teams and they got exposed. I think that we probably made some of those similar mistakes. You know, we're giving them runners at first and second, nobody out, or maybe early in the year teams executed a bunt or got a hit and, and kind of let those innings continue to roll and we were able to get out of that. One thing we have done well is when we've been in tough situations, we've made plays defensively, and we've made big pitches in, in situations. You make big plays, you make pitches, you got a chance to win, and we've done that. And you know, when we've had opportunities to score, we've 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 you know come through in those situations. But more than anything, I think we've limited our mistakes a little bit more. And you know, when we when we have made mistakes, we've gotten out of it by making plays. And, and you know, that's a good quality for the team to have. And even even here, you know, through Indiana, we made some mistakes, but we got out of it. We made pitches, we made plays, and, and you have to keep it together when you make those mistakes. And I think we've done a better job of that. As a result, have you seen the boys maybe enjoying it a little bit more? They're definitely enjoying winning. Is definitely something that uh, creates confidence. Uh, you, know, you score some runs, they get excited in the dugout. I think you see certain guys, you know, make plays or make pitches, and then other guys feed off of that. And and I think you've seen some of that. I, I have liked this team's uh, ability to fight through some tough times. You know, we've shown some grit, which is a, a good thing. I don't know if that's the right word, but they definitely have kept it together when maybe a mistake's been made and found a way out of it. And that's a very good quality to have. Just looking at the numbers, in Maryland is going to try to kind of press the issue on the base pads. Mm -hmm. you know, what's kind of the key for you guys? I mean, aside from keeping them off the base pads, to kind of keep that in check. That's a good place to start. Yeah, but you know, for us, it's it's controlling the running game. It's it's the competitive picks. It's the long holds. It's varying our looks. You know, to second base when when there's guys at second base. It's we you know if we you know run a pitch out or we you know stretch a fastball off the plate. It's executing those things and playing catch and. You know, it's uh, you know we, we have the, the ability to do that, and Coach Silva is very good at controlling the running game. But it's it boils down to just you know you got to execute those situations when we have an opportunity to you know make a play. Have you guys seen somebody this year, opponent wise, that just kind of pressed it in that way? Or? Maybe not to this this level. I mean, they're they're running uh, a lot more. I think their numbers overall are probably higher than they were all of last year. So uh, they're obviously being very aggressive, and it doesn't really matter the situation. So one keeping them off the bases, limiting the free passes, uh, you know, the mistakes defensively to create more base runners. Uh, and then when we do get that, we just got to make sure that we're, we're executing the pitches and, and making the plays. What would you say the bullpen is now, given, you know, the injuries you guys had early in here? Is that still kind of a fluid situation? Or are you guys starting to define roles a little bit more, would you say? I think it's interchangeable. I think we've got some pieces that can, you know, with Chad and, and Louie at the back there, we feel pretty confident in those guys. And, you know, Robbie's done a real nice job and Fisher and McSteen. You know, we, we kind of know who we're going to go to in certain situations. Obviously, you'd like to have those other guys available as well, but you know, there's going to be things that pop up, and other guys have to step up, and, and uh, we made it through this, this midweek here. Uh, it wasn't exactly how we drew it up, but we'll take it. 
And, you know, now it's just a matter of, you know, playing well early. Starters, you know, having quality starts, getting the lead where we get to set up our bullpen the way we want, we want to. Has Alvarado adjusted better than you thought or about what you expected after being not pitching for two years? I think he's done a fantastic job for not pitching for a long time and, and just handling, you know, late inning type situations and, and the, the battle of hitting and then having to run down to the bullpen and get loose and, you know, still staying strong after playing that many innings. So that, that's not easy to do, but he just has a natural ability for a feel for the strike zone and a feel for a slider. And, uh, you know, he's he's really matured a lot over the last couple of years. So it's it's really nice and just fun to watch him compete. You, get, you pitch it late for Schreiber last night. I feel bad. Is he okay health-wise or is it just... Yeah, he's just tight. I mean, he, I haven't seen him today. Um, you know, I'm sure we'll see how he feels tomorrow. I anticipate that he'll be ready to go. It was more precautionary than anything, but uh, we'll see where he's at tomorrow. Any other health health updates at this point? Uh, Curry's battled a little bit of arm soreness, so he's he's not available right now. Uh, other than that, the normal guys. Jake Cohen, seen you see a different side of him over the past few weeks? He just he likes to compete. I mean, I think you know he, when he was off for that long, I think he kind of anticipate there might be some rust there. His command uh, wasn't great at the beginning and just slowly but surely you're seeing it get better. Uh, I think there's still another level he can get to, but you know that Indiana game, he just, you could see that fire in his eyes and him competing out there. And I mean, that's what you need on a Friday night. And uh, you know, he made some really big pitches in that game. And, and you know, I just expect him to continue to get stronger and keep improving. Darren, it seems like uh, the hot stretch you guys are on right now and now the weather's starting to warm up a little bit. I'm guessing the the atmosphere around here might be a little bit different this weekend, especially knowing it's uh, Big Ten in Maryland here. Well, yeah, it'd be nice to have the temperatures in the 70s for a consistent period of time. That would help. I don't know if I'd want to sit out there when it's 30 degrees either, but we still have a very loyal fan base. That's been great. But, yeah, we're expecting a fun atmosphere. It'll be great for all the kids to get out here and, and get to compete against a quality team, and it should be a great, great weekend. Anything else? Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, thanks, thanks so much, Jeff.